Hi guys, welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to show you a DIY watercolor canvas painting, quote painting. It is going to look something like this. Someone actually wanted me to do a quote for them and make it pretty and you know me, I have to, I feel like I have to go all out and use all my creativity because I want it to look nice. This is a quote by Mother Teresa and it says, let no one ever come to you without leaving better and happier. So this is what they wanted and um, I'll show you in a little bit what supplies you will need and hope you guys enjoy. First you'll need to choose a quote, then your preferred writing utensil. I'm going to use one of my lightest drawing pencils, assorted brushes ranging from wide to thin, some watercolor of your choice, and maybe a paint tray and I'll be using white for the letters. Lastly is the size of canvas of your choice and I got mine at Walmart. First I am lightly drawing lines as a guide. This is where I'm going to be writing my quote and the hand position is a key to control the flow of your writing. It really helps the hand stay steady and using your wrist to do the writing. Next I'm going to dab a bit of color into the paint tray. I'm spacing them out so I don't mix the colors together when adding water. Then to get a flow of the painting going onto the canvas I lightly add water before adding paint and you'll see why. The runny paint is a look I am going for, the free forming and letting the paint drip down off the edges by moving it around. This is the method I do for the rest of the colors by breaking it up into three sections per color. So here is the end result and now just to let it dry. Now I'm going to add some white for the letters. I am using my finest and thinnest brush. This is perfect for defining and adding details to the letters. But before the painting part, I'm going to use my pencil to lightly write out my quote. This will act as a stencil and easy to paint over and not mess up. Now when painting the letters, try the hand position that I'm doing. But for a calligraphic effect, remember that the stroke going down are thick and the strokes going up are thin. Using your wrist in this way helps control, adds and releases the pressure on the brush to get that thin and, th and, thin and thick effect. But if you're not used to doing it this way, honestly just outline your letters and then when you're done you can just go over it again to add that, those thick parts to give it that calligraphy feel.
lastly, then I'm going to use some thick string and a hot glue gun so that I can hang it on the wall. And here's a finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this piece of art and if you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe below for more upcoming DIY tutorials. Bye!